In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CrCl3 plus NaOH. This is chromium-3 chloride plus sodium hydroxide. The first thing we need to do here is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see right away I have three chlorine atoms here and one here. So I'm going to put a three in front of the NaCl. That balances the chlorine atoms. Now I have three sodium atoms. So I'll put a three in front of the sodium hydroxide. Balances the sodiums three hydroxides here, and then the hydroxide here, three of those, one chromium, one chromium. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. Chlorides are very soluble, if you know your solubility rules. AQ, dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Sodium compounds as well, very soluble, and sodium hydroxide is a strong base, so it's going to be a strong electrolyte as well. Hydroxides, though, in general, with the exception of things like sodium hydroxide or other group one elements like potassium hydroxide, in general, when we have hydroxides, they're insoluble. In chromium hydroxide, it's insoluble. So because it's insoluble, we're going to write an S. It's a solid. When these two react, this falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So these two react, and this forms the solid. The precipitate falls to the bottom of the test tube. Sodium compounds and compounds with chlorine very soluble, AQ. So those are the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. For chromium, we can't tell its charge because it's a transition metal, but we do know that chlorine, the chloride ion, one minus. Since we have three of them, this has to be three plus. So we'll have the chromium three ion plus three chloride ions Sodium's in group one on the periodic table. That'll be one plus. And the hydroxide ion, the whole thing, one minus. Good one to remember. Three sodium ions. And then that three goes to everything. So we have three hydroxide ions too. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products with net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we'll have our chromium three hydroxide here. It'll stay together. So we'll have three sodium ions and three chloride ions, just like the reactants. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not really interested in them. In the reactants, we have three chlorides. In the products right here, we have three chlorides. These are spectator ions. We cross them out three sodium ions in the reactants, and then in the products, three sodium ions. We cross them out. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for CrCl3 plus NaOH. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for chromium-3 chloride plus sodium hydroxide. When I look at the charge, though, I have a bit of a problem. I have this positive sign here, three times the one minus. That's three minus. Over here, this is neutral. So something's messed up here because my charge doesn't balance. It's because I didn't put the three here for some reason. So now I have a three plus, three times one minus, three minus. This all adds up to zero. This here is a neutral compound. It adds up to zero. So charge is balanced. When you have charge that doesn't balance, doesn't work out, you want to be careful. Make sure you have the right numbers here. You can also look at the number of atoms. They'll be balanced as well. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for the chromium chloride, chromium three chloride, and the sodium hydroxide. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.